Welcome to the second installment in Zali's Tutorials. Today we'll be covering how to make a basic room. First thing you're going to do, you're going to want to do is launch Source SDK. I've already done this. Now, launch Hammer World Editor, or just Hammer Editor. And make sure that you have the World Editor open. So like, create a new thing, create a new file by going to File, New, or hitting control N. Now select your block or brush tool. I call it the brush tool. It's officially the block tool. Drag across the bridge to create those 512 in length and width. For the height, make it something around 16. So this is to lower this is to make the grid smaller so you can have more detail. You can also use the left bracket. C minus 16. Now hit enter. This will be our floor for our room. And now create a wall that goes from one end of the brush to the other end of the brush. So from here to here. That is 512 units high and 16 units wide. So 512 high. Now you don't want them to intersect, so basically the brush cannot, shouldn't be in another brush. I'll hit enter to create it. This is going to be a wall. Now go to the selection tool and click it. It's a little arrow. Hold shift and select the wall you made. Drag this to the other side of the floor and let go. You should have a second wall. This is a simple way of copying brushes. Now go back to your brush tool and create another wall that's 512 long, 512 high, and 16 units thick. Well, I'm not going to make it 512 because it would intersect. Just make it 480. Now, copy this to the other side again. Now we're going to create the ceiling. Put it right here. And drag it over. And as you can see, we have a ceiling. Make sure it's not intersecting again. Now, we should have it done. Now go to your little room and look around. Do you see any spots where there is a hole that leads into the void? The void is the space that is black, this whole area. Basically think of it like this. You have a box full of water. The water is a playable area. If you have a hole in your box, the map, then it's not good. This is ironically called the leak. Well. A leak can do things from stopping VBIS to run, which is source optimization technique, to causing water not to show. You have to make sure your map is sealed properly, or in other words, completely covered by brushes, leaving nowhere to see the void. It's like the face edit tool, or toggle texture application. This creates a new window, called the face edit sheet. Now in this, select a face or side of a brush. Select the floor for now. Hit browse, and in the filter, type floor without quotations find a nice texture that you like and double click it. So like, I am going to use this for now. There you go, now you have a slick looking floor. Select the walls and do the same process. To select multiple walls, hit control and click multiple walls. Now go into browse and type wall. If you want specific walls, you can do concrete wall without spaces or brick wall without spaces, plaster wall. I'm going to be using a concrete wall, such as this. Now, I applied it. You don't want spaces when searching for textures, as there aren't really any names. It is for the ceiling, and I'm going to type in concrete ceiling. And, see I get, oh, whoops. If you want to look at the, your last textures or last few ones, you can just select this little arrow and go here. Now, select the entity tool. You should have info player start. This is called the new objects window. There's a text box which will say objects. Select this text box and type in info player start. There's a chance it's already there though. In this, in this case, just click on the world in the 3D view and, and a green man should appear. 
Mine doesn't appear, however, because I have this model error so far, but it shouldn't affect anything. Now we have a very bare bones basic room. To compile or turn the VMF val map file into a BSP binary binary space partitioning, or even simpler, a map you edit in Hammer into a map you play in Half Life 2, or whatever source game you're using, you want to hit F9 or File Run Map. This is what you should see when you launch the game. This is our simple room, right? And it's pretty simple. It's basic. What a beginner should start out with. Now what you're going to want to do is if you if you don't, if this didn't show up, or you got an error and it didn't launch the game, or you didn't launch the game for whatever reason, go into the main menu after launching it, go to options, keyboard, advanced, and tick enable developer console. Apply, okay. Now go into the asterisk, which is the key under escape, left of one and above tap. It looks like a squiggly line. Hit that. And type in map my first room or whatever you called your map. And now look, we're now here in our nice little room. So if you have any questions or problems, go ahead and comment or send me a message. And that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and I hope it helped. Bye.